Hey guys! Um, so this video is going to be what I am getting my kids for Christmas for 2020. This year I have a two and a half year old and a three month old for Christmas, my two boys. And so I'm just going to go through and show you guys what I got them for Christmas. I basically got all of these things on Black Friday. The Black Friday sales really weren't that great this year. Funny enough, usually Target has the one where I get the most things from and has the best deal but this year I felt like Meyer actually had the best deals and so most of these things are actually from Meyer. but I will get to showing you what I got them so I will start with my three month old first um, I didn't get him too many gifts just because we already have a ton of toys from when Grayson was that age and so there's really no point in getting more toys on top of that but I did want him to have some gifts and something to open even though he's really not gonna be able to open because he's three months old he's not gonna understand I'm like what's going on but I'm sure Grayson will help him my two-year-old will help him open the presents so I just got him two things the first thing I got him is just this little crinkle book and this I found at Target um, and it just goes through the different types of winter they have like a Christmas themed one they had a bunch of different ones um, and it was really cheap it was like three dollars and it crinkles and so I think he'll like that he's just trying to get into like grabbing and things like that so this is the one thing I got for him and then the other thing I got for him are these stacking cups now this does say six months on it um but obviously he'll grow into it um funny enough we don't have any stocking cups we've had a lot of things where like there's a stick and there's rings and you put rings on it and stuff like that like stocking rings but we've never had stocking cups before and i've actually seen a lot of like sensory bins with this um using stocking cups like to scoop you know the different flakes or whatever you want to put in there and so not only is this something that porter can enjoy as he gets a little older but i'm sure my two-year-old grayson will um love playing with these so these are just the two things that i got for my three month old um again i didn't want to get him a ton of stuff i also got him a bunch of clothes i'm not wrapping that though and i don't think i'm going to do stocking stuffers for him i did get some stocking stuffers for my two-year-old but for my three month old i mean again he's really not going to understand what's going on and so i kind of just went with the two toys for him and i think that'll be great for him something that i got both of my boys this year um i got them matching pjs so target had a bunch of different um patterns that you could get and i got one um that were in both the boy size this is just like a little like onesie jammies and then this is a two-piece for gray and so i'm gonna have them wear matching pajamas and i'm actually gonna have them open this on Christmas Eve so they can wear it Christmas Eve night and then wake up on Christmas with wearing these PJs. This is a tradition that I wanted to start with my family. I didn't have this growing up. Um, I think my mama, um, which is my mom's mom, would send us pajamas every so often, um, but it was never really a tradition and I've seen people do that with their kids and I think that's really fun. And also since these are just red plaid, it's not like these are Christmas themed so they could wear this the rest of the winter. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna wrap these and put these out for on Christmas Eve. We have them wear matching pajamas and so I'm sure I'll get lots of pictures and videos of them matching, but yes. So this is a Christmas Eve gift that I got for both of them. So there's a few um, things that Grayson loves and you will see that um, as kind of like the theme of this year. Uh, one of the things that Grayson loves is Sesame Street. Uh, we watch it and I actually um, like that program. It's educational and they go over, they have a number of the day, a letter of the day, they have cute songs and actually some of the, sometimes they have little shorts that go off of like movies. So they've done like a Hunger Games and they do Hunger Games with Cookie Monster. And so it's just, I don't know, I really like that program. And so anyway, Grayson's really into it. He knows all the characters. And so I got him an Elmo Imagine Ink. So Grayson is actually really into this because um, it comes with a little water bottle squirter. And basically you just 
use the squirter and you paint with, and it's only water, and a picture shows up when it gets wet with water. And then after it's wet and it dries, the picture goes away and it stays white again, and then you can do it all over again. It's perfect, it's mess free, no markers, and he can do it over and over and over again. He had um, something like this, but it was only like one picture, it wasn't a whole booklet. And so I really was on the lookout for this, I found this at Target. I think he's really gonna like this. Not only because it's the water thing that he's used to, but it's also Elmo and Sesame Street themed. And so I think he's really gonna like this. Next, I got Grayson, um, just kind of like a doodle board. And again, mess free and you can reuse it multiple times. And this one actually glows in the dark, which I thought was really cool. Um, I was kind of looking for something, you know, like, you know where those like you, uh, draw on it and then you can erase it. I can't think of the name of that. That's basically what this is just like more updated and high tech. Also, it comes with different stencils. So you can like make patterns with it and things like that. Um, it does say three plus on it, but Grayson will be three in April. So again, he can grow with it. And um, yeah, I just think it was something really cool. Um, he's been really into like drawing. He loves sidewalk chalk and drawing on the driveway. And since it's cold outside, we can't do that. I thought this would be kind of fun for him to do. So we'll see if he likes it. I had never seen this before, but this is another thing I got for Grayson. It's a seek and find, and then it's a flashlight. So you move the flashlight and it highlights the picture and then you find like different objects inside it. Grayson has really been into uh, find objects, hidden objects. Um, he has a subscription to Highlight Magazines that Anthony's grandma got him for a year and every uh, month he gets a new magazine and in the magazine there's always a section of high, find the object and he loves it. Now he always makes me find the object but once I show him he, he's got it down and he can find it every time. So I thought he would actually really enjoy this and it's kind of cool it's like a flashlight. Um, so yeah, I just, I'd never seen this. I thought this looked really cool. Again, it does say three plus, but um, again, I think Grayson can grow with it. And I think he will think it's really cool. He's really into flashlights. If you've seen any of my previous vlogs, we have a little flashlight and he loves shining it everywhere. So I think this would be really, really cool. I got this at Target, by the way. So the main theme of Grayson's presence this year is going to be Blue's Clues. Grayson absolutely loves Blue's Clues. He loves the songs of Blue's Clues. He loves the characters. Um, he dances every time we watch the show and they start singing. He loves um, the mailbox song. And again, like all the characters, he just loves it. And so they came out with a whole bunch of Blue's Clues toys this year. And Meyer actually had, I think it was buy one, get one half off on all Blue's Clues toys. And so I went a little ham on Blue's Clues toys. So the first thing I got him was this um, Blue's Clues sing-along guitar, and it actually does make noise. So this is awesome because one, it makes music, which Grayson loves, he can dance to it. And two, he's really been into guitars lately. Um, he has another little toy and it has a guitar on it. And so he's always having me draw guitars. He's talking about guitars. And so now he's actually gonna have a guitar of his own and it's Blue's Clues themed. I think he's just gonna go wild with this. I think he's really gonna enjoy it. So next, this is kind of like a huge toy, but it was actually a really good deal. Again, going with the Blue's Clues theme. So this is kind of like a Blue's Clues uh, toy pack and it comes with five different objects in it. And it was only like $20, $25. So it was actually like really cheap. It was a really good deal. And so I ended up getting it. I didn't think I would, but my sister convinced me. Um, so it comes with three different puzzles. One of them, which is this one right here is a uh, sound puzzle. So like when you move the puzzle pieces, it makes noise and sings and things like that. And then um, another one is like more of like a more harder, older kid pu puzzle, which I think he'll really enjoy um, the challenge with that. And then another one I think is a peg puzzle. It also comes with the deck of cards. I don't think Grayson will really be into that right now because it's a little old for him, but as he gets bigger, definitely will be into that or he'll just like looking at the characters and then it also comes with dominoes um we've never had dominoes before and so i think he would like 
building with them, making towers, knocking it down, things like that. So this, it's like this huge box, um, but I think he'll really enjoy it. It really makes me happy that Grayson is so into Blue's Clues because when I was little, I was super into Blue's Clues. I love that show. I used to watch all the time. I had a thinking chair. Um, they used to make Blue's Clues macaroni and cheese and they had the blue paw prints in them and I would eat it and watch Blue's Clues at the same time. I even went, my parents took me and saw Blue's Clues live. So it makes me really happy that like they brought this show back and that Grayson is as into it as I was. But like I mentioned, Gray's really into Blue's Clues and he's really into the mailbox. And they made a mailbox. Now, if you've seen any of my videos or you know Grayson, he is so into not only Blue's Clues and the mailbox, but the mailman himself. Um, in the summer when it's warm out, we will sit outside and we will watch the mailman go up and down our street and he waves to the mailman and he loves the mailman. And so how perfect they actually made a mailbox and you can you know it makes noise you can move the pieces it actually comes with um, envelopes and you can actually put them in the mailbox and he'll talk to you when you do it I think he's gonna love this toy I think it's gonna be awesome because the little face on it I think this is a really great gift for him so I'm super pumped about it so the next three things are books if you know Grayson you know he loves books so um Target actually had a deal and it was like buy buy two get one free I think it was so that's why I have three books um the first one I got was a polka dot book he's had one of these before and it actually broke um, it ripped because he likes to rip books and he has not had one since and this one is Christmas themed It has Santa on it and I think he's just gonna love it. So if you've never seen these books um, You basically can pop them and Repop them and so it's basically like a bubble tape bubble wrapping paper um, constantly and so it just goes through and each page has like several ones and then it has Santa's elves and has Santa and the reindeer and it counts, which Grayson loves to count. And so I think he's going to absolutely love this book. Next, I got him, of course, a Blue's Clues book and this one makes noises. And so I think he's really gonna enjoy that. He loves any book that makes noise and sound and so, I think he's really gonna enjoy this. And then of course, I had to get him another Blue's Clues book. They actually had a lot of Blue's Clues books. Um, and so this one goes through colors, which he really has his colors down, but they also are like lift the flap peekaboo. And so not only can Grayson enjoy this book, but I think Porter, when he gets a little bigger, can also enjoy this book. Um, so it goes through all the characters and I think, Grayson's really gonna enjoy this too. I think he's gonna enjoy all his presents. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten them from him, for him. I also have um, stocking stuffers that I'm gonna put in Grayson's stocking. I'm not sure where I put them, so I need to go find them. <laughs> um, but I just basically got him a bunch of just little knick-knacky toys that we got from like the dollar store or the Target dollar spot. So it's just like a little toy dinosaur and uh, stickers and just little knick-knacky things that I could just stuff in there. Um, when I was growing up, my mom always put like candy and a toothbrush and things in there. I think when he gets older, I will do a little bit of candy, uh, but for now, I don't think he really needs it. Um, and I think he'll be busy with all his toys. So all in all, that is what I'm getting my kids for Christmas this year. Also for my husband, I will show you guys really quick what I'm getting him. So I got him, um, well, three different things, um, but I'll just show you the two because the third one's just kind of a gag gift. So the first thing I got him is a chess set. We watched The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. If you have not watched that, I highly recommend you do. It's really, really good. And it actually has brought in a huge surge of interest in chess not just in our house, but you know, with anybody who watches it. So Anthony um, knows how to play chess and he played chess a lot growing up. I've never been into that. I'm not into strategy games like that. Could not care less about it, but Anthony's really into it. And so he asked me if I would get him a chess set for Christmas. And so I did. And this one is actually a magnetic one, I think. Um, yeah, it has a folding magnetic board and it's also like very portable. So you could take it. Um, with you. Maybe he could take this when he goes on his Indiana trips. He could play with his co-workers. I don't know. Um, I'm sure he's going to want me to play with him and I guess I'll have to try to get into it. <laughs> I really don't care for chess, but I'll play it if he wants me to. 
The other thing I got for him is a board game. So every year I try to get a fun board game for Anthony and I to play. We really like to play board games together, but because there's just two of us, I try to get ones that are more two person specific so that we could play whenever it's just the two of us, but then also has the opportunity to play with more people. So last year I got him a game, it was called Ticket to Ride, and it basically you like build railroad tracks all over um, the United States. And we really enjoy playing that together. It's just something fun, especially with COVID, like fun date night in. So I was looking online and I heard really good things about this. I've never played this game. Um, I've heard of it before though. Um, there's an original Codenames one, but I heard that if you just have mostly two people that the Codenames duet is a better game to get but then also if you have more people you can just play in teams um and so i think it's you have to try to like help each other out and figure out the spies or something i actually really don't know <laughs> i mean i looked up reviews and it looked really good so i like games where you work together um i'm more of like a team player i don't i feel bad when people lose and so um yeah, that's why I picked out this game. So we'll see if he likes it. Um, as a gag gift, I got Anthony a Minecraft game. He was super into it a while ago and played it on his computer, but um, they made one for the Switch. We have a Switch, it was like 20 bucks. And so I just got it for him kind of as a gag gift because I always make fun of him that he plays it. Cause you know, usually the people that play Minecraft are like 10 year olds, <laughs> not him, but he likes it and so, I mean, who am I to judge? So I just got that up for him as a gag gift. Will he play it? I don't know, but if anything, we'll just keep it. And when our kids get bigger, I'm sure they will eventually play it. So that is my haul. If I find the stocking stuffers, I will get them and, and put that here. Okay, I found the bag of stat of, start over. Okay, I found the bag of stocking stuffers, so I'll just show these really quick to you guys because I know this video is already super long. I got Grayson a packet of uh, tablets that change the color of the water, and it's got Baby Shark on it, so he loves Baby Shark. I got him a necklace that lights up. He had one of these last year and loved it, and so... I don't know, I just thought he'd really like it. <laughs> again, it'll probably last about two minutes. I got him a little Elmo character, because he, again, he's obsessed with Sesame Street. I got him in Imagine Ink. So this is the same brand as the water one, but this is with the marker. So again, mess free, it only colors on the paper and all of the pages are white. And then when you color them with the marker, an image appears. So he will love that. Plus it's Paw Patrol, another show that he loves. I got him stickers because he is just loving stickers lately. He likes to put them everywhere and then we find them all over the house. So I'm not sure why I am doing this to myself, but I know he will love it. This I found in the Target dollar spot and I thought it looked really cool. It's a glove bubble. So basically you put on the glove and you put it in this um, bubble pouch and then you wave your hand back and forth and it makes a bunch of bubbles and so I thought he would really like that. We might save this for summer because that seems like more of an outdoor activity but um, I thought he would really like this. Um, I got him a little toy dragon. He doesn't have anything like this and he's very into like mythical creatures, dragons and stuff. Kind of disappointed in this. It was in the Target dollar spot, so I thought it was cheap. And when I rang it, um, I didn't think to look at the price until we got home and I saw on the receipt, it was actually like eight or $9. And if I would have known that, I would not have bought this. But, oh well, too late now. Guess he's gonna get this. I got him a Cookie Monster to go with his Elmo. And finally, I got him some Play-Doh and some just cookie cutters to put in the Play-Doh. He's never had Play-Doh before, so we'll see how this goes. This is just at the dollar store. So everything that I showed you was at the dollar store or the Target dollar spot, so I did not spend a lot on him, although I'm seeing I did actually get a lot of stuff. So maybe I'll put some of them in Porter's stocking and some of them in Gray's. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but anyway, that's all the stocking stuffers. Otherwise, You'll find out on Christmas what he gets because I'm sure I will record it. But thank you for watching. Sorry, this is kind of long. Um, let me know down below if you want me to link anything that I showed you. Um, let me know what you guys are getting your kids for Christmas this year. And uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!